Hey guys, it's Patrick Star. Welcome back to my channel. Today we have the one, the only Holly Scarfani. Hi guys. <laughs> this is a Kylie Jenner inspired <laughs> look. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Oh my Thank you so much for having me. This is so much fun, honestly. So much fun. First YouTube tutorial ever. Ever. Just have moved to LA. Just moved to LA. Like, I mean, it's my first time getting a full on hair makeup glam. I'm like, like Hollywood glamour. We bumped into each other at the Pendry <laughs> and very LA of us. She was like, hi, how are you? You're so fabulous. Like, What's your name? And I'm like, what's your name? And um, she was like, do you want to do my makeup? And I'm like, yeah, let's do your makeup. And here we are. And I was like, do you want to do like a Hollywood? Like, let's do Kylie, let's do something. And I know blush has been the craziest. Um, we just launched Cheek Clap, if you guys didn't know. What I wanted to do was clap her cheeks. So here we clap the cheeks, beat clap the face. <laughs> um, and we did all the glam. Shout out to Telly for the hair. Be sure to follow her. And we did such an amazing job. We had so much fun doing this glamour. So sit back, relax, enjoy this video inspired by the one, the only Kylie Jenner and makeup by Ariel. Brought to you by Patrick Star, Holly, and Telly. <laughs> and don't forget, makeup is a one size fits all. All right, isn't Holly so freaking stunning? You guys, this tutorial is going to be a full talk through so I can just be in the zone doing this and disclaimer I'm not saying she is Kylie I'm not saying I'm Ariel we just want to express ourselves through makeup because what makeup is a one-size-fits-all I love Ariel I love Kylie and they just like turn out so many iconic looks that we all love to recreate on social media like TikTok YouTube Instagram social media and is anyone watching the Kardashians on Hulu right now I'm like literally obsessed anyways back to the makeup I am taking the brow key key brow pencil because we want to have a brow kiki this is just so freaking transformative because kylie and ariel have like that signature thick brow so she was so shook whenever i did these thicker brows on her because she's never rocked like a full glam let alone a thick brow so as you'll see throughout the video i'm also taking um makeup by ariel's morphe brush collab and just sculpting and if you guys have not seen my video with makeup by Ariel, Ariel Tejada. We have a video that is in full, deep, like detail of every single step that he has done on me, that he also does on Kim Kardashian and Kylie for like a full beat glam. So I'm literally doing probably like the same order of steps that he does and it's literally so satisfying and i have not changed my routine ever since he's touched my face and i'm learning a little bit more and more each day from him so as you can see i'm carving the brows and i'm, I'm applying the butter silk concealer i mix a few colors just to get her eyelid color because i feel like the overly white highlight under the brow is like not really a thing for like glam probably in like drag and like theater and stage it is but i wanted to be as close as i could in terms of the placement and the colors and as you guys can see this step is like hella extra optional this is like carving the brows i get so much crap for this on social media because people say oh this is very 2016 and this and that but ariel does it on you know his clients you know and that's just a preference so i wanted to stay true to what i've learned from him and just share that with all of you now right here if you go a little bit too much and cover the brow that you work so hard on i'm just taking a little bit of eyeshadow and redrawing the brow so right here we're taking the ultimate setting powder if you guys have not tried the one size ultimate blurring setting powder this is literally so freaking gorgeous it blurs the skin literally all day 14 hour wear and i just set her face in her eyes and now we're gonna go ahead and move to the eyeshadow now right here this is a shade in the visionary palette called taupe of my game i wanted a very neutral color not too cool not too gray not too red and i'm starting with that as like the transition color i totally could have used like a bronzer on this part 
dark but top of my game in the palette is like such a pretty color as a base and we're just gonna go ahead and sculpt out these lids and we're gonna go ahead and just sketch that out into the crease and we're just gonna build an eye and what I've learned from makeup by Ariel and doing makeup over the years is just a slow build is the best build when it comes to layering makeup and that goes for the face that goes for the eyebrows that goes for lips and eyes because I think if you put too much of like one certain product the harmony of all the products going in together doesn't really you know work because I feel like makeup really works together in terms of fashion and function so you see we've concealed the eyes as our eye primer and now we're putting on eyeshadow so sorry I haven't done a voiceover in so long by the way I used to do these all the time and I just got obsessed with talking to all of you here on YouTube but voiceovers it is um, and you're stuck with it for, for today's video so as you can see I'm just taking a few different brushes and just diffusing that out and blending that closer to the eyebrow highlight and I feel like whenever we're watching tutorials online I feel like we learn a little bit about anatomy and how the, the products move and work on the skin and the eyes is just one of those features that you have to really pay attention to with the eyes closed and open and right here I'm taking a matte lid color this one is called manila sands um, Manila's in the Philippines, it's the capital, and they have the whitest beaches, uh, the whitest sands um, in all the beaches in the world, and this is such a beautiful creamy color without being so stark white. And as I built in that crease and that outer corner, I've then applied that lid color. And as you can see, I'm wiping the eye with micellar water, and that's just gonna give it that snatched look and see what she has to say. Oh my god, that eye. <gasps> Yes, Miss Girl, you are with Patrick Store, and already it hasn't been even halfway done, and she was so shook. And I, that's why I love makeup because you know makeup is truly transformative from the inside out. And you know her being on TV and in, on social media, it's always fun to reinvigorate someone's per perception of themselves, especially through makeup. So right here, this is always like the scariest part for me. I think I went a little bit too thick of an eyeliner, but right here is the point made waterproof eyeliner by one size beauty this is so black so waterproof it lasts literally all day and I'm starting out with just a regular liner no wing and then I went for it I looked at the Kylie references that Ariel did and I went for like a very baby half wing and as you can see Holly has such beautiful uh, big eyes and what Ariel did on my eye before was a straight out wing just to make the eyes look longer from side to side rather than height from up to down so I tried my best doing a beautiful wing and I think she looks so stunning in this beautiful wing it is a little bit larger than normal but hey it's like a glam look and I'm always down to learn myself and hopefully all of you guys can take a tip or two or trick from this and I know a lot of people that are makeup artists too like watch me as well so I love coming back to this artistry point because for me covid literally took the life out of me with no models and now that i have opportunities to work with models and real people it's so exciting she was so gagged <laughs> she's like oh my god right here i'm taking the mac strobe cream and just lathering that on her face to get that glow do you see how beautifully glowy that is and then over around her nose i'm taking secure the blur makeup magnet primer just around her nose and above her lip and the chin just to give it that uh blur effect now for the base i am taking the beauty blur balm and as you guys can see her skin is just so flawlessly perfect to me she said that she has like some things that she would want to improve like a pimple here or, or there but i think she looks gorgeous i'm taking medium two which has a rosy undertone and i am just beating thy face so just apply this with a sponge and I don't have the Makeup by Ariel sponge, but I'm using my Beauty Blender. And I'm taking this down a little bit to the neck and the body. Um, that way she's all one tone. So right here, we're just building it in. And it really looked so beautiful with the moisturizer and also the Secure the Blur Primer. And as you'll learn in my more recent videos with the face makeup and the base makeup i love applying every single type of cream so foundation skincare liquid concealer cream blush cream bronzer really makes a difference when it comes to celebrity makeup so right here i am taking the butter silk concealer i believe this is in the shade 
medium to mixed with a little bit of fair four which is the same shade that i used under her brow but again nothing too bright when i talk to ariel he says you know we want to keep it like close to the skin tone not too much contrast and that's what the girls love and so i tried keeping the integrity of you know the colors and the skin tone and you can bronze as you go to make things darker or deeper in tone to sculpt the face and bronze the face but i love this part of makeup it's my favorite part eyes aren't really my favorite also comment down below what's your favorite my favorite is the face so right here i am taking the makeup by mario cream contour bronzer stick in the shade medium and i am just applying this with a brush around the face i think if i drew straight lines on the face it would have been too harsh and drag but as you can see i'm building a beautiful halo of color that just hugs her face and that's just makes it so 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 pretty and if you guys have the time for a special occasion a date night a dance uh, or going out with your girlfriends or gay friends out on the town i feel like taking the extra time to put cream bronzer cream blush really makes a difference in elevating your glam because i feel like for me growing up i did like foundation and then the rest was like powder so as you can see right here we are taking the cream blush from our latest launch cheek clapper this blush right here you, you can see um once my hand moves there are three formats there's a cream a matte and a highlighter and this shade of this palette is called a very that and holly is a very that girl so this is the the flex cream it's flexible you can over paint or under paint in this case i am using it as a base and I'm taking the butt end of my booty blender and blending that out in between the concealer and the cream contour. And this just looks so stunning, especially when there's like flash photography. Because I feel like when there's a strong flash, whether that's on the red carpet or through a regular camera, even iPhone, sometimes the flash cuts through the powder. So that's why I really want to stress to everyone, cream is like your best friend when it comes to layering your makeup. And I find that you get a lot of the dimension with the creams anyways. And you use less powder overall including setting powder and you guys know i launched a foundation powder called turn up the base and i feel like that because it has coverage and it's a foundation powder really gives the face a beautiful effect so right now i'm taking that same mario cream stick bronzer sculptor and i am just snatching the nose and around the bottom lip just to get that dimension and then just reapplying some concealer in case some of my blush um, got on the under eye but this is I feel like very Kylie and Ariel and just overall Hollywood and I wanted to give that to Holly today so as you can see I am not setting the face with any translucent powder first I am taking the matte blush and piling on and setting the cheeks first with the blush now if you think about this I actually saw this on TikTok by Ariel and everyone was doing it I'm just taking it here on YouTube and giving credit to him because this is his technique. I feel like this is a game changer because if you think about translucent powder and then you put foundation powder, the blush after all that powder just dust off because it's dry on dry on dry. Rather, like right here, you see, I'm taking the turn up the base powder foundation and setting the under eyes. So not only are we getting the setting, like the function, the functionality of this step, but we're also getting the fashion, the beauty part. We're adding like the coverage where it's needed, like around the under eyes. And we're allowing the blush to stick to something, like a powder to stick to a wet surface being the cream blush. And so, right now you'll see me just setting the face with all the like powders and right there right here i am taking the ultimate setting powder and then baking everything on top and you guys can see i'm using like the littlest bit of ultimate setting powder and just pushing that into the face and i feel like it's such a different way that i have applied makeup than ever before and i like to call this reverse baking where i'm setting all of my powders with the corresponding products and then putting baking powder on top of that and right here i'm just dusting everything off and right here especially under the eye she says she creases a lot um and most of us do i know i do i'm gonna go ahead and take the ultimate setting powder and just reinforce so i like to call this part reinforcing the bake and just adding that highlight i remember ariel stamping my nose in these areas like to reinforce all the creams and that way the bake kind of gives it that like set but also when you dust it off it kind of just stays so right here i'm just uh 
applying again more ultimate setting powder now over here you could see there's blush there on her cheeks but i just wanted to amp it up that's because the blush is sitting under all those powders which i think is like so 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 cool and we're sculpting the face just to kind of bring back a little bit of life and reinforce everything that we worked on i can't like it's insane you never had your makeup done? Not like this. Holy shit. This is so funny. All right, you guys. You see her reaction. That is what I live for. Holly has never gotten this full LAB. And look at her. She is feeling herself. And she's just living. And this part comes with the contour. As you guys can see right here, she is shook because the face is coming together. But right here, this palette is called Made for Shade. Like, cheeks are made for shade. The nose is made for shade. The jawline is made for shade. So we're just throwing shade on Holly today. And what I love about this Made for Shade a bronze sculpting trio is that it comes comes with a neutral, a cool, and a warm. So you can bronze, you can sculpt, you can contour, and you can see there's different undertones for certain things. Like obviously the forehead would get the sun, the cheeks would get the shade. Do as you will, depending on your preference. So I applied a little bit of eyeliner, I baked under, and now we're just curling the lashes. And this part is a very, very, very important because I feel like lashes don't look right when they're like in front of your pupil. So curl the lashes really, really carefully. And there's a lot of tips and tricks on curling your lashes on TikTok. And I'm taking these Ardell Wispies and applying that. So right as the glue is drying, I'm not going to curl the lashes until the end of the video. So that way they have time to really set. Now you see right here, we are dusting off the baking powder and she's just getting her life. And now we are just contouring and snatching the nose. Not everybody has to snatch the nose, but you guys, come on, it's Patrick. I just want to beat the face and just give every single option. That way you guys at home can take a little bit of this element or that element or maybe none of it. And you guys just love watching this just to watch the process. But I feel like it's so fun and interesting and I hope everybody coming out of this, you know, non-makeup wearing world can be inspired to get a little bit of glam and add some sparkle into your life. Now, this part, Kylie, I've noticed, Kylie, Kim, like Ariel, like he loves a bottom smoky under eye and I feel like that is very signature of him and it also just makes the eye like pop, especially with brown eyes. So right here we are continuing to dust the face with a turn up the base powder. All of the colors will be listed down below. All right, and for lips, we're gonna go ahead and take Kylie Cosmetics Lip Liner and Coconut. Uh, I don't have any lipsticks yet, so I mean, for a Kylie video, why not use Kylie Cosmetics? So this is Coconut Lip Pencil. I also added Anastasia's Lip Liner in Deep Taupe, just around to kind of round it out. And I'm taking a Kylie gloss and just applying that on the center to give that beautiful, beautiful blend. And I feel like that's so signature to Kylie and Ariel. And let me know what you guys think. And let's just jump into the finished look. Fuck your feelings. Show me all you want. You've been a fan of. And I'm a target. You look like me. Get you back, 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 get up. Back, 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 get up. All right, everyone, this is the finished look. We beat the face down to the ground, you guys. What do you think? Oh my gosh, it's literally incredible. Like, oh my, I feel like a movie star. Oh my <laughs> gosh, she's so nice. She's Canadian and she just graced her kindness and oh beauty my onto God. my channel. And uh, fashion icon, beauty influencer, follow Holly Scarfoni everywhere on social media. She does lives on TikToks. Um, and Instagram, it's always social, Instagram, everything, YouTube. Fashion, bro. inspiration, down and also so now beauty for me. So if you guys want to see more of her, more of me, be sure to follow us, subscribe to the channel. Be sure to check out once it's at Sephora and once it's beauty.com in a store right now. And I love you all so much. I hope to see you all in our next video. Bye. Bye. Thank you so much.